Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. And you're gonna wanna see this, SV Boney sent me another telescope to test. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I actually asked them after I tested the uh, 80 millimeter version, if they can send me the 102 version. And they have no problem with that. And then uh, probably after that is when I will ask to borrow the 122 triplets. Now the only thing I was thinking, let me just take all this out. I wish in a way that I had waited a little time for them to send me this one. And the reason is this one looks like spanking brand new. Just because right now, there is actually no planets in the sky um, except for, I think, uh, maybe Saturn comes out at maybe 4 a.m., that type of thing, which is way too late, especially uh, when you work every day at 6 a.m. It's just too long. Oh, and I just wanted to say thank you, SV Boney, for sending me another telescope to test. Now, this video probably will be a bit quicker, and the reason is just because we don't have to talk again about, you know, the focuser uh, type of thing. It's the same model as the other one. You know, the rings are the same, the sliding dew cap, the fit, the finish, the quality, the lens is exactly the same, it's made of the same material. Let me show you the front, okay? The difference would be, of course, this is a 102 millimeter, so it's a little bigger and of course it's a little longer okay but besides that everything as far as quality and accessories uh rotatable dual speed everything's exactly the same so we don't need to get into that again so let's just start there is a bit of friction on this guy but you know again you can uh loosen or tighten the friction of the sliding dew cap or the dew shield by turning the hex so maybe it comes a little tight, which is fine. Okay, my trusty scale again. It says nine pounds. Nine pounds is very reasonable. Now, maybe if you put a uh, diagonal on here and a finder scope, let's say, you're probably gonna get to 10 pounds, okay? But still very reasonable for a four inch telescope. Okay, compressed, 24 and a half inches compressed. So I think that's just a little long to go in an airplane carry-on. I believe it's 22. And of course, you're gonna want at least two inches of padding minimum, minimum, or at least an inch on either end. So probably can't go carry-on, but it can probably go in your luggage. And being that it's a refractor, if you pack it very well, should be fine. As you guys know, I brought a six inch reflecting telescope twice on an airplane. And what I mean by that is there and back one time, there and back a second time, plus about seven trips on a type of Greyhound bus uh, and everything went fine. Now, so I'm sure if this goes in the luggage, you'll be fine too. Okay, and extended is 30 inches, okay? So now let me just say, I do not have any 60, 70 or 80 millimeter refractors and because for me, living in a Bortle Zone 8, or also called a white zone, um, an 80 millimeter to me, or anything under, is just a little bit too small. Really, you know, besides the Sun, Moon, and Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, when it's near opposition, as well as Mars, you know, a couple double stars and clusters, that's mainly about it. So for me personally, my grab-and-go telescope is a 4-inch. A refractor that's what I consider grab and go again uh, nine pounds as, it, as you see it uh, maybe ten pounds with a diagonal uh, inch and a quarter eyepiece and a small finder scope like a red dot finder or whatever ten pounds is very reasonable for this size telescope so that's what I call my grab and go size and then as a serious size refractor I like something in the five to six inch refractor for my serious planetary work. 
But um, again, everything looks very similar to the 80 millimeter. Uh, looks good uh, to fit to finish. The focuser works very well. Objective looks nice green, multi-coated. There's a couple baffles in there. Stop the stray light. So currently in Canadian dollars, this is $7.99 Canadian, which is cheaper if you guys live in the US, UK, uh, I believe even Australia has cheaper uh, exchange rate than us. So $7.99 for a four inch, uh, 102 millimeter refractor with an ED lens, with you know a decent focuser, rings, thumb screws, Vixen plate, and everything that you get. Again, I think it's a very good value for what you're getting. Put this on whatever you like, an equatorial mount, altazimuth mount, a photo tripod head, whatever you want, it will be very nice. Now, the four inch compared to the 80 millimeter, just off the top of my head, maybe 50% more light gathering power. So that will punch through and get that object closer, more resolution. So to me, this is where I like to start at the refractor, okay, the four inch. And there you go, there is SV Boney, the 102 ED. And that's it guys for now. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you know anybody getting into hobby, and maybe they're thinking of a good ED refractor without breaking the bank, maybe this can suit their needs, or maybe even your needs. If you're on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about this, you'd like to share my link, past the 80, SV Boney. Now I'm going to be testing this 102 version, so why not? And I do have members video where once a month I put one video strictly for the members. You do not have to join if you do not want to, but if you would like to support the channel or if you'd like to see videos that the general public does not see, it's 99 cents a month and your name in the description. Okay guys, that's it for this. I'll see you next time. Why not you? Why not me?